Hi, welcome. My name is Maureen Gamble. I'm the founder of the Permaculture Education Institute. And this little session is to let you know what's going on inside our new Permaculture Design Certificate course. What's inside it, what you'll get if you sign up. Uh, and so until the 21st of June, we are offering a special early bird launch price and you can save $400. So let me take you inside, show you around what's inside the course, what you get as part of it, and uh, how, the whole, how the whole thing works in this online permaculture design certificate course. So this new course that we've just opened up is our separate permaculture design certificate course. Up until now, our course had been woven together with the permaculture teacher's certificate as well. So this is the first time we've been offering this as an independent course. So. Uh, it's a globally recognized permaculture design certificate and as well as getting the core content there's a whole load of bonus content as well that keeps growing it's a global program uh, we have members on six continents and the content is global too which means that we explore permaculture design the principles the ethics the practices the strategies and then work with you in how to localize that in your place it's super flexible as well, meaning you can start anytime. And from the moment you start, you get uh, one year access to the course materials and to our Hive global learning community. And how you work through the course is up to you. We do release a module each week, uh, but if you can't make it to, to finish that module at that time, that's fine. You have access to it to, to do it at your own pace. And you can even put it aside for a bit and come back to it. Life happens, we know that. So we just wanna make sure that it's as flexible as possible. It's a blended content. Uh, so you have a whole lot of online materials that you can tap into at your own pace. We have a series of live sessions that are all optional and we try and make sure that we have them in all different time zones, um, recognizing that there's people coming from all around the world. And we also have a series of forums and discussions. So there's lots of different ways to interact. And then of course, we encourage people to dive in and do practice in and around your own community as well, so that you have the head, heart and hands all covered. So within the course, we cover the full permaculture design certificate course. I'm a registered permaculture teacher, accredited by Bill Mollison himself to teach this course. So I've structured the course so that the, the permaculture design curriculum is delivered over a period of 26 weeks. Each week you get a new module shared out to you, which gives a chance for you to, to think and practice and design and research and then weave together various pieces of content and be able to come through at the end with a really cohesive design for your place. So in each of these 26 modules, there's a whole range of different things that you'll find there. So there's some written material, there's images and video, music, presentations, case studies, lots of links and suggested actions, also worksheets and downloads and, and lots of material to, to read further. So sometimes you might get to a module and think, oh, I'd really like to dive deeper. And there's a whole lot of content to do that. Sometimes you think, oh, this, this module is not so interesting to me, or maybe I'm really comfortable with this already, and you just want to keep moving on. And it's really up to you. So as well as the core content in the course, in those modules, we also have what we call Hive. Now, this is our global learning community space where lots of the conversation happens. You can find all of the different events, all the live events that are available, and these are all in a one click kind of setup. So you can find the Zoom link, the date and the time in your particular time zone and see all of the things laid out. So, so in this section here, you can see there's things like our film clubs and our master classes and our forums. In other sections, you'll find design studios and tutorials. So we have them clustered into different groups. Our member seminars and forums are actually topics that are suggested by the members and delivered by people who are part of this community, sharing their experience and their knowledge, bringing together a whole range of different ways that permaculture can be applied. So within the permaculture design certificate part of Hive, you'll see that there's lots of different 
little rooms within here so once you get into the hive itself you can be looking at what what live events are going on there's a community chat you can find out who's who in the member part with exploration of plants and interesting resources and then discussion areas for the particular topics in clusters and then also space to explore um, the various projects and also get to see what other people are doing and a place to share resources that you've got on offer and, and ask for help. So this is a really dynamic space where you have the course content, you can be in that all the time, but here is where you can be interacting and lean in and out as much as you like. You don't have to be in, in here, but it's available if you'd like to, to call for help or get a bit of inspiration, or motivation, or just stay connected with this amazing global learning community. So whether you turn up live or not, we do have an archive of all of these sessions. So if you'd like to um, go through anything that's happening just while you've since you've enrolled or even before you've enrolled, you can see all the different um, presentations that have been done and all the um, forums and anything that we've run live. You'll be able to find an archive of that in our resource section. So within the community too, you'll be able to find sections where you can chat with a group of people or one-on-one -on -one with other members. Um, there's forums about different topics. There's research themes. And also people start to find different communities of practice. So some people are focusing on working with children. Other people have worked on creating their book. Some people focus on supporting refugee communities. And so you can also suggest new topics if you're interested in doing that. So within, uh, within Hive 2, you can find out about all the other members. So people write a little bit about themselves and you get to connect with, with who's who in the group. And then there's these three projects. Now, the point of doing the Permaculture Design Certificate course um, here is essentially to understand the process of permaculture design. So what we offer is a step-by-step -step structure to enable you to go through the whole process and in that come out at the end with a beautiful design for a site of your choice that might be your own property or farm urban area um, it could be a school project it could be a community project it could be a friend's place so you pick which place you'd like to do your design on and then we walk you through um, the how to do the site assessment the needs assessment and then we start with a small design project so that you get Get it, start to get it in your elbows and your knees, the designing, and then uh, create the full permaculture design for the whole site. And it, it includes uh, information too about, you know, what kind of plants you're going to put in different places, how you're looking at your water and energy systems, how you're applying the principles. And it is a wonderful and beautiful way to bring all of the knowledge from the course into a cohesive design for you. Now, of course, it's not going to be the end point, but what is brilliant about this is if you are, instead of asking someone to design for you, you understand the process. So you get to this point of having a plan. And as you get to know your site more, and as you see your project evolve and develop, you keep on evolving your design along with that. We encourage you to practice as much as you can during the course and look at how people are applying it in so many different ways and then start doing as much design work as you can and as much practical work as you can in your community. Get involved in a local community project. Go and visit other people's places and see what they're doing as well. So let me show you some of the student work. I'm just going to run you through a little bit of a, a gallery. So um, just to begin with though, Normally you do this project by yourself, but sometimes if you like to, and some groups have done this, they've worked together as a collective. So this was one particular project in Plum Village in France. Um, it was a, a center and together they decided that they would do it together. So you can see this is their common room and they've got their, their vision and their element assemblies and their base plans and they're mapping it all out around their room. So you can do this as a group. You can do it um, handwritten like it was before, or you can have digital boards as well. So in looking at the kind of feel and the texture of the design, um, this person decided to create a mood board uh, using something like Pinterest. Uh, but we really go deep into looking at how you can create your base plan, getting your contours, mapping out where the flows and the nodes and the heart of your design are, looking at uh, zones and sectors, 
understanding where the sun and the wind and the water and the wildlife and all the different um, outside influences on your side are, as well as what are your key goals and the goals of those people uh, who are going to be part of this this design process but also what do the other species need as well who are coexisting here with you so we begin we start very broadly getting the pattern of the design so like I said before the zones the flows looking at where are the different areas and how they connect and how the flow of the site makes sense before we get into the detail once you've got a sense of what is going on around you and how it all hangs together it's then we start to get into detail so this is one of the kitchen garden designs so what's happening in close around the house and as you can see a lot of the thinking happens in and around you know with these annotated designs and really diving into detail and thinking about what's happening in each of those places and not just what are the bits but how does it all connect and this is really where the permaculture this is what permaculture is about, not just what bits you've got plonked on a piece of paper. It's how you create that interconnectivity between all the different aspects and how that connects with the house, how the house connects with the garden and the water system, and the animal system and beyond your border. And so people are, are doing, getting right into the detail uh, of each of the different areas and working out what can happen on site. Some people do these um, beautiful artistic drawings you don't have to be an artist to do this you can really do quite basic drawings with a lot of annotations other people who like to do illustrations end up doing that as well um, this woman here from Korea has actually ended up writing a book about design for children which is absolutely fantastic uh, this was what the uh, that group in France ended up creating as a collective design. This is their big picture design of what are all the different areas. Um, and in Denmark, a, a, a woman who created her whole beautiful garden then zoomed in on this one particular area, looking at how she was creating a perennial edible garden and looked at all the, the detail in there of how she was going to create this polycultural food forest and harvest the water using keyhole beds. And so you can see there's lots of different ways that people are able to do that. And then to create a base plan or a site plan that you can have as your working document to guide you as you develop your site. Um, some people already have some kind of design skills like this one is from an architect um, and so using the architectural skills and then layering on the permaculture lens. Uh, so you can see there's so many different ways of applying this. Uh, some people like I said haven't done drawings before um, some people have but it's really about the richness of the thinking and the connected thinking applying the principles looking at bringing together all the different threads of the permaculture course and and bringing it together in this one cohesive plan for your site so if you haven't had any drawing skills we also do some some simple drawing activities as part of the course as well and if you'd like more of that we can also um, host different events to support you. My background is in landscape architecture um, but I encourage people very much to just pick up, pick up a pen and a pencil and just start drawing how it feels comfortable for you. Now some people start to share out their work as well and, and this is something that I really encourage people to do is um, to think about what you're learning and how that can be of, of you know benefit to help ripple permaculture out even further. So we, we also have the permaculture teacher certificate which you can add on to this um, and we also encourage people to create films and share the um, practical work they're doing. This is from one of the refugee communities uh, that that is part of this program as well sharing how they're applying it. Some people um, create songs and music and and other ways of expressing permaculture design and then um, also get out and see in what ways you can make this happen on the ground. We have a wonderful relationship with a whole range of uh, communities um, throughout East Africa and we'd love your support too as as a member of the group to to support the permaculture education work there so all of the projects are due date free whenever you're ready to submit them 
that's the time to do it. Um, you have a 12 month period to finish the course, the 26 modules, so that's six months, and then another six months to finish the project. If you need an extension, just ask. We really just want you to finish the course. So, um, you know, 12 months should be enough, but if you need a bit, little bit more, then just ask. Uh, so as well as having a full payment option, we do have payment plans and I'll let you know about the pricing in just a minute. We also have a fair share option. Um, we always offer scholarships to people coming from the Global South. If you are a teenager and you want to do this course with your, with your parent, then you get it for free. And anyone who's a refugee as well or displaced person is, is able to get it for free as well. Um, so... As well as the permaculture design course, we include into this uh, at the moment the Incredible Edible Garden course. So this is an extra course, uh, which is our permaculture gardening course. And you can see the modules here. It goes into a little bit more of the fine detail about the permaculture garden aspect, whereas the permaculture design certificate is deeply about how to do that design process. Um, as well as that, I'm continuously interviewing people and creating content that is bonus extras. So everything from systems thinking to local economics to food forest systems. We also have a monthly film club and screen permaculture related films and interview people who are part of the films. Uh, a podcast is uh, on a weekly basis and we interview people who are leaders in the permaculture field. They could be writers or um, scientists, designers, practitioners, farmers, there's people who are applying permaculture in so many different ways. If you do the permaculture design course and you think, oh, I'd love to teach this, there's a couple of different ways. We have either our eight week intensive teach permaculture course, which happens from September to December, or we also have the um, year long program, which you can add on to what you're doing now. And both the same content but just delivered in different ways so the permaculture design course is the foundation for this so we have lots of different ways that you can accentuate your work and find ways to also make it um, far more about your livelihood and your community service work as well as being what you're designing for your own place part of what we're doing as well here at the institute is finding ways to help people to amplify their voice i mean it's it's very important for us to be finding ways that we can be sharing out the positive permaculture work so some of the things that have really helped me in the work that i do is um, understanding things like graphic design youtube podcasting blogging how to get your stories out into media doing website design hosting online events how to share your story um, and get organized on social media, how to write really good copy and also organize your your branding, how you share out and communicate your work as a permaculture practitioner is really important. So if you've if you're enrolled in the permaculture design course, you always get 25 percent off pretty much every other program that we run. So I just wanted to let you know that we have that. And we also have a program called Morag Unplugged, which is our permaculture business design lab focusing on how to design a business around permaculture that embeds the permaculture ethics. Um, and this is a, a small group mentoring program. Uh, it will be starting in August. And again, that's another 25 percent off. Really in, t in a deep part of what we do at the Permaculture Education Institute, too, is linking with people around the world. Uh, so we have a partner organization called the Ethos Foundation and the Ethos Foundation is uh, supporting free permaculture education and development of learning centers and the development of permaculture food forests um, throughout East African refugee settlements mostly and as well as supporting young women to create things like washable sanitary pads, cloth cook bags and a whole range of appropriate technologies. A um, number of the projects we've worked with have now been awarded a whole range of different prizes like the um, Ram Ramonja Rural Foundation uh, recently won the Lush Spring Prize and the work that we're doing here in the in the Permaculture Education Institute Ethos Foundation recently won uh, a community service award from the Australian Permaculture Convergence. So we work with um, mothers and youth and we work with um, also children. Now, 
part of what we did last year too was host the Youth in Permaculture Prize and a number of the members who are part of our program um, were key part of that. So when you join up to the Permaculture Design Certificate, you get the full Permaculture Design Curriculum plus enormous amount of bonuses, plus a one-year membership to Hive, which is our global learning community, and also a lifetime access to the incredible Edible Garden, which is our comprehensive permaculture gardening course. So let me just decipher all of this for you. So if you sign up before the 21st of June, which is just a few days from now, there is $400 off the permaculture design course. So normally it's going to be $19.97. This is Australian dollars. But up until June 21st, you can get an early bird offer of $15.97. And that includes all of the things that I mentioned. Or you can do a payment plan and either divide it by three. Or we can also um, offer a six-month payment plan. And if you really need to, we can create a 12-month payment plan. And now, if you decided that you wanted to do that, as well as your permaculture teacher certificate course, which gives you two years access to everything, plus the two certificates, then you will, all you need to do is just pay an extra thousand dollars, which is going to save you an enormous amount later on if you decide you'd like to do it. So the two key things to keep in mind here is that you can join up to the permaculture design certificate, and save $400 and you can also just pay $1,000 extra and get access to your permaculture teacher certificate program now. And obviously you don't need to start the teacher certificate part until you finish the PDC but you have it there, it's prepaid, you're ready to go and you also get to be part of the conversations with other educators who are part of that program right from now. So as you're thinking about your design course, you're also thinking about, oh, how might I design to create an environment that is great for teaching? Or how might I think about teaching this part of the course while you're doing it, you're thinking on in both uh, directions at the same time. What, what is it for you and what, how you are able to share this out? So um, if you'd like some more information, uh, I'll drop in the link uh, for you to look up um, all the information. We've got some really beautiful websites. You can see what's going on there. But if you'd like to chat with me, um, feel free. I'll drop the link below too. And you, if there's any questions you want to ask me and to see whether this course is going to suit your particular needs, um, just book a time to chat. Find a time that works for you and then and then we can take it from there. So this course will be open any day and every day from now on. It's just that by the 21st of June, the prices will go to the standard price. We have the early bird price up until then. So thanks for listening. Check out all the links below and I really hope to see you inside the course. And like I said, feel free to drop me a line and ask me anything you'd like to about the course. All right. Take care. See you later.